the fall of winter home i feel like this is going to kick my butt because it is super difficult and i'm going to make it a little bit harder because we're going to go for the fully upgraded dreadnought i do not have a strategy for this except for get as many resources as quickly as possible because that dreadnought takes a lot of resources to get fully upgraded we have a city already built and we have to restore the city because the leader before us did a terrible job i mean look at the layout of this this place absolutely awful uh, we will be getting rid of some of these paths to begin with um so yeah let's do that now actually this will clear up a bunch of space and give us some wood as well we're gonna try and get uh gathering posts in wherever we can because we've got all of these like ruins here we need to collect up and i do want to clear all of those out because that's going to give us space to build i feel like focusing on the middle is going to be more beneficial to start with uh, but saying that we've got so many workers and we've got child labor as well signed so we've got enough workers to do whatever we want really uh, so let's continue clearing this out just for now how many wood we've got uh 86 let's go for a little bit more i'll try and get to 100 wood hopefully i can do that i mean the layout over here is not too bad apart from that bit there Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't disconnected anything really. In fact, yeah, I think that's fine. We've got 95. We'll, we'll start with that. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to do as well is do a snow pit. I just want to relocate this, and I'm going to put that over. Well, it needs to be out of the way really. Let's put these uh, next to our hunter's hut over here. Cool. So the snow pit is over there because there is one right in the middle somewhere. I can't see where it is. Ah, it's right there. Okay, so we need to get rid of that when the other snow pit is built because we cannot do it at the moment. So, a great start. 82 of our people have died already. <laughs> That's not my fault, all right? Not my fault. Um, but the remaining people that are alive can go straight to work. We've got a lot of workplaces already built. Um, like I said, we've got child labour. So, any gathering posts or cook houses, I'm going to put... Uh, children in. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I will we'll find out in a minute, right? So, first technology we're going to do is going to be more scouts, or I should probably employ engineers. Uh, yeah, so we'll get more scouts on the go because I want to be exploring that frost land as quickly as possible. And also, we've got quite a lot of sick people. So, let's get all of these medical bays up and running. And I'm going to put heaters on these as well, just so they are good to go. I'll turn on the generator. We're on minus 30, because we do need to have the generator on it if we're on minus 30. And we've got gravely ill people. I don't want anyone to die. So first of all, I'm going to do radical treatment. That's going to be the first one to do. Well, and I think we're pretty much good to go. A couple of more workplaces to get children in. Uh, that's all good and like i said we've got so many we've got so so many um uh people we can pretty much do whatever we want so first of all let's get scouts out i'm gonna go to weather station because i think there are survivors there oh we've also got a um a, an outpost bringing coal in we can only have one outpost and i literally never use outposts but i think i'm gonna use outposts on this scenario uh, because i uh well I never seem to get enough steel. I'm going to clear up this as well because we've got a steel, like a steel deposit over there. And then we need to get some gathering posts down in other places. This is the annoying thing about this scenario. It takes so long to get set up. Um, oh, I've only got, <laughs> only got enough wood to do two, two gathering posts. Let's get rid of some more paths. Uh, I feel like we can go down here and across here and maybe across there yeah look at this we need to be so careful uh, let's do that one and oh, we've got like a double double path there we'll get rid of that let's get rid of this here as well and that one and I think we can get rid of that one yeah okay looking good we've got some more some more uh, wood for paths now which is good and can I get one more gathering post in? Uh, where is the gathering post? Here it is. 
Uh, where can I put this? Oh, I'll put it in the middle here with the snow pit when that gets built. So let's get playing. I would like to get overcrowding as well. So we can get more people in the medical bays. But I feel like a lot of people are going to get <laughs> are going to get sick this first night. So not ideal. We'll, we'll go with it. So that's been built. This has been built. It's good. Has the snow pit been built? It has. So we can literally get rid of this one. Uh, because that is that is way too close to our city. And in fact, that was in the heat zone. The heat zone is on heat zone three. Oh, not, not ideal. But we'll go with it. Uh, right, gathering post in the middle there. And then let's actually get people on these ones in the middle because we want to well, we ideally want to relocate the housing into the middle of of the map um, so it can you so we can utilize the heat from the generator look we've got so many like uh tents and stuff out here in fact they are chilly you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a steam hub out here asap uh, so we'll do uh, maybe we need two yeah let's do one there and then we'll do one up there as well just to cover all of those houses and maybe we should do the same over here because i don't want people getting cold overnight in the tents and we've got enough coal and stuff coming in and i think it, i think that's a, yeah i think that's a good idea i think that's a good idea okay I, the majority of houses are covered or tents are covered so i'll go with that so this one do less harm uh, yet yeah, we've got so many engineers we don't need them and we are still collecting up wood and stuff so let's get another gathering post down uh so just what i don't really mind about where they're going i just need to get this stuff collected up asap okay let's get rid of that oh, leave that path that's fine i'm hoping i can fit one in there i can look at that amazing um what have we got here oh the the coal has come in but it's got nowhere to go so what i actually will do is put a couple of resource depots down um these can be outside of the heat zone so i'm just gonna whack them down here i have like a, a like a line of them maybe going to this area here as well so this will just allow us to stockpile some coal when uh, when stuff is coming in and more scouts have been researched so let's get another bunch of people going out um where do i want to go snow cliff let's go snow cliff and let's get kids in there right the next thing we need to think about is food we need to stockpile a lot of food a lot of steel essentially we need to stockpile a lot of stuff <laughs> so uh how many people We've got 66 people left um let's just get them on any of these ruins i think that's going to be a good idea so these have reached that so we're going to bring the engineers to the city if we don't escort them some will die and and essentially you need a, you need as many engineers as you can on this uh, on this scenario uh, what's this the end of weather forecasts oh no we don't know what the weather's going to be doing um, right, that's not good because I have, I have no idea how, how the weather works on this level or on this scenario. Uh, we've got a wall drill. I'm going to put the wall drill down as well. I don't see any harm in doing that. It does use a steam core, but it doesn't matter. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we've got more gathering posts up. Let's get kids in there. Uh, we've got another one to pop up there. And yeah, let's set that to coal. And I think we're good to begin with. Um, cold homes, I literally never do cold homes. It's signing yourself a death wish. Um, oh, I should probably say the objectives. <laughs> We've got to get rid of at least 30 ruins, raise hope to 50% and reduce dis discontent to 25. So we'll think about doing that in a bit. Uh, the next one, we will do faster gathering. We need 10 wood for that though. Uh, that's fine, we can just delete some more stuff around here. Uh, yeah, that's nine wood. Oh, so close. We'll get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that as well, in fact. Uh, get rid of that. And get rid of that. 
<laughs> There's a lot of useless paths around here. Get rid of that as well. Okay. Let's do... Um, what we're going to do... We were going to do... We were going to go in the workshop, weren't we? <laughs> That's what we were going to do. Uh, faster gathering, just because we want to gather this stuff up as quick as possible. And um, we have got 33 engineers, so I'm thinking about doing some more medical posts. I've right, got another law to sign as well. Overcrowding. I was going to do overcrowding, wasn't I? I'm thinking maybe we do emergency shift. No, let's do overcrowding first because I don't want anyone to die. And this will give us enough capacity to squeeze everyone in. Oh, we've got, we've got engineers that are homeless at midnight, which is not good. Let's get them a tent. So, ideally, these need to be in the, in the heat zone. Um, I feel like this is just going to be very... Oh, no, we're out of wood. We're out of wood. Not ideal. Hoping we'll uh, get some more... Well, we'll have some more like, resources coming in fairly quickly. I mean, we've got the wall drill, haven't we? So, let's get people on there. We'll fill that up with engineers as well. These guys have reached the snow cliff. Let's explore that. Uh, we've got a steam core. Nice. Uh, to the lone boulder. Like, I can see a lone boulder over there. Let's go to it. It's the only thing for miles. I guess you would do that. All right. Minus 40. Let's put steam level up to two. And we need to we need to get these we need to get these tents down. Uh, so right, yeah. That's good up there. Let's get a path to it as well. What's going on over here? First amputee. Right, we need to do care house and prosthetics. So those are the next two laws to sign because if you've got amputees and you get that message, then uh, you need to have prosthetics signed to prevent anyone from dying. Uh, we've got a kid in the ruins, not ideal. So we'll get engineers on there. And I'm actually going to put down a couple of workshops. I want to get this research done fairly quickly as well. We'll put these in heat zones if we can fit them in. Get one there. We'll do three. Cool. That's all good. Food. People are getting hungry, but we have got food rations We've got a lot of food rations in fact however we do need to stockpile some someone's got frostbite not ideal over there ah it's because it's um because it's very cold over there okay everywhere else is fine it's just that place i don't mind about that we've got the well i say we've got the capacity in the in the medical bays we don't really we need a maybe one more uh, fewer amputations, that's all good. That came from the uh, little choice we made earlier. Uh, send these to the broken tree. And uh, let's do... Let's do... Um, steam steel works might be a good one to do next because, like I said, we need a lot of, we need a lot of resources. So, yeah, I'm going to do steam, steam steel works and get that down as soon as we can that should be cleared hopefully tomorrow maybe uh, some ruins have been cleared uh, i was going to do another medical post wasn't i let's get that down i would like to swap out the medical post for infirmaries at some point but they do take steam cores so it might be a little bit tricky we are actually um, removing quite a few things here. Ah, what's that? Okay, so we fill up on resources. So this is why we need these resource depots. Because if you don't have these, the people just will not like pick up anything because there's nowhere to put the stuff. So I'm just going to have a little bank of stuff over here. Uh, these guys have reached a lone boulder. Nothing to do there. Of course it isn't. And enter the shrouded cave. I would like those those uh, lighter scout sleds to be fair. So uh, let's set that one for steel. That one for wood. 
do this one for coal and this one will do f right we need to we need to do food now we haven't got no food oh dear this is looking good here for now i'll keep this how, how it is and we've got like a couple of well, we've got three coal mines we can put down that might be useful and then medical post no food hunters huts that's what we need we get hunters huts going uh, we've got enough people for it so a few of these um a few of these ruins have actually been depleted so we can actually use those people for something else uh, nothing to do with the broken tree oh okay right the steel bridge this is where we can get an automaton but I have a tactic for this okay <laughs> so we'll we'll discuss it in a bit oh what's this oh generators run out of coal okay not not ideal we'll leave it for now but that's not that's not good we need to get these okay that's good we got the coal coming in now we'll put it on heat level two and i'm going to put it on just heat zone whatever it was two that's fine now these ones they can deal with being cold okay that's fine uh nice we saved that kid in there a lot of stuff has happened so a lot of more uh, ruins got um picked up which is good and oh, they've got raw food nice so i'm gonna actually bring this raw food back that'll be very useful in fact, that would be very useful to come back. Um, and then we need to do care house. Yeah, we need to do care house and prosthetics. That's what we need to do. Right, what else was I going to do here? It might be a good idea to do medical post upgrade and flying hunters, industrial. It, to be fair, it would be a good thing to do everything. So I'm going to do lighter scout sleds. That's probably the best thing to do at the moment. And again, a lot, of, a lot of resource piles are actually um, getting picked up. So, gathering post, this has got nothing to pick up now. What's happened here? Child injured. Oh, no. Uh, give the kid a day off. He's, he deserves it. We'll get rid of that as well because that's got no gatherable resources. And we'll actually just move those to somewhere else. So, uh, let's do... Well, ideally we want to be picking up everything i'll move those over here that one over there let's do that there that there <laughs> so many so many things and that one there and that one there now that is way too many uh, resource uh well i say that i was going to say that's probably too many gathering posts for how however many people we've got but i don't think it is i think we'll be able to fill it all up and that will be every single resource uh, in fact every single ruin uh, every single ruin covered so that would be good let's again let's just use the kids for this because we can use the adults for more dangerous stuff uh, that's good that's good so need to i need to think about food food more because we are we keep running out of food oh we've got one person uh, yeah we've got one person homeless and that is because we actually uh cleared the ruins and the kid came out of it so i'm gonna get rid of the pub for now and i'm actually gonna get rid of that cook house because i want to i want to start laying out this uh, this city a bit better so I'm put paths where I can I need to get tent I just need to get one tent down really Actually, we'll, we'll wait for the um the pub to clear first before we do that uh, again let's get people in here people in here oh let's get that's right that's been resource uh, research what other things can we do uh, resource depot upgrade I think would be a good idea like uh, we need to actually 
think about stockpiling some of this stuff for the dreadnought let's add those there and they've reached the automaton so this is the steel bridge we can send the automaton to the city but i'm going to leave it on duty because what it does it clears the snow and we are well it opens up this iron deposit so i'll go to snowy hill first and then we'll go iron deposit and we'll think about doing a outpost a bit later on right it's getting very late so i do need to build that um build that tent so let's do that i was good right the plan was actually to move stuff into the center of the city that's like tents and stuff but i might leave them where they are i don't see any reason to, to move them uh, because we've got like some bunk houses already and stuff and i think if we just cover them with ah uh, saying that if we if we like move them to the middle we can get rid of some of these steam hubs you know so that would be very useful uh, i am actually going to do care house because i need to do that uh, are these covered yeah everything everything is covered now so yeah i'll put the care house down I'll put that in the middle and i'll do a couple of medical posts as well in the middle nice right they've come back they've come back that's good stuff they bought the hundred food with them uh, freshwater springs that gives you food source i think but we'll go to the dreadnought and we'll, we'll get food just from hot houses and stuff so we are getting a lot of people back uh, the generator has run out of coal again so i think i think we need to think about coal <laughs> let's get engineers in there And this out, hang on, this outpost didn't have anyone in there. That outpost is still doing coal, right? Where are they, though? Okay, I think, right, it's still there, apparently. I guess that's a good thing. We just need to get that generator turned back on. Uh, protective mother. Uh, yeah, let her have the day off that's fine okay it's cold it's it's warmer it's warmer that's a good thing right scene level two on that right we're back and cooking so we've reached the dreadnought we'll take the resources there but this is what we have to upgrade um in terms of going further afield well we'll just we'll just continue exploring right uh, storm shower i think there's i think there's people there don't quote me on that though um yeah i think maybe thinking about coal will be a good thing ah uh, right we've got to clear these ruins before we can use those coal deposits but that's fine we've got we've got one being built uh, so that's research so we'll be able to store more stuff all good and i wonder if we go steam uh no let's do right, i think we need to do medical post upgrade and start thinking about infirmaries because we've got a lot of sick people uh oh cookhouse yeah let's let's do that because their efficiency boosting by 40 percent is actually really good we do need to we do need to get hope to rise it's about 25 percent at the moment okay again we've got lots of lots of resources lots of um stuff being picked up so we're looking good here and we'll have a nice old big old space over over this area to to build stuff in I'm thinking maybe i should do uh, uh cook houses or some uh, not cook houses um hot houses <laughs> that's what i was thinking of uh, the last camp these guys are going right into the mountains aren't they ah sweet right we've got um engineers coming back so we'll bring them to the city again if you send them on their own then they could die which is not good and the coal mine is now up and running absolutely fantastic hungry people are getting fed but we've this is the thing right we've got a lot of people to feed 
got we've got a hell of a lot of people to feed so not good um so yeah let's think about doing food stuff now and we've got steam still works i'm gonna put that down that down there as well so we've got two steam still works on the go and then we'll have a steel outpost to do as well then we'll have three of these is that getting picked up oh i don't know i don't know if that's actually getting picked up over it no it's not okay right we'll get people in there put one there we'll put one there <laughs> there's a few things i missed out but that's that's fine i'm just very concerned about this coal what i might do is put on heat level one that will extend the life a little bit And then we were going to sign prosthetics, weren't we? That's the next thing to sign. So that prevents someone from dying. But also we can uh, take all the amputees and get them get them prosthetics, which is good. Uh, these guys, send them along. They're picking up some good resources there. Saying that, let's build some more housing. I'm going to do bunk. Uh, hey, all right, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a little experiment. Okay, so ten wood. For that by dismantle you get eight wood. okay i'm gonna do bunk houses from now on because we will get a little bit of steel back when we dismantle them and we will be dismantling dismantling them later on because we just won't need them but i'm hoping bunk houses is going to be enough to stop people from getting sick uh, so that's run out of resources 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 oh my oh my days that's run out of resources what's going on over here oh no someone someone's trapped uh they have reached the city is that covered that is that is covered right but i'll put people on there anyway because that'll speed it up right let's get children in there children in there and that oh children in there as well and then that should be everything. That should be everything. I do need to think about getting hope up now. Uh, double rations for the kids? No, no. We need all the food we can get. So, yeah, talking about food. Let's get some more hunters. Uh, hunters huts down. What is this here? Oh, it's a gathering post. I'll dismantle that for now. Because that is actually gathering... That is actually gathering coal from the coal thumper so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to relocate it to there and now we've got flying hunters okay let's get flying hunters on the go everywhere that can be a fly flying hunter is going to be a flying hunter and then I'm going to put like an extra two down this may be a little bit overkill but I'm telling you <laughs> we need a lot of food later on uh, that's cool that steam still works is now operational what's this one why is generator to be active oh the generator is not even on sorry guys i didn't realize <laughs> i didn't realize uh hope will rise slightly that's good um we've got people i guess hidden in the <laughs> hidden in the ruins let them be discontent will rise but it's not over 25 percent. that's okay so yeah i need to get um i need to get hope up now that's gonna be the thing we've got five days five days left to do that which is which is fine um people are hungry well let's feed them i feel like i can do that we need to feed everyone and then stockpile 302 food with the new hunters with the new fine hunters we've just put down that is, that is achievable Cool, we've got more res resources there. Send them on. These guys came back. So I'm going to send them to... Um, let's send them over... No, let's send them back over here. Because this will open up the iron deposit. And then we can send them over to these... Like this rock formation and then freshwater springs. I think that'll be the plan. Okay, so that's all good there. 
So this coal is getting collected by these two and then we've got the coal mine. I'm pretty sure we've got another coal path come part somewhere else. This gathering post can just go. That's absolutely fine. This one should be should be gone in a minute. Um, right, workshop. What were we doing? I'm going I'm going crazy. I'm going all over the place. <laughs> I'm just trying to do it as quick as possible. Possibly uh, we don't need factory just yet. We might need it a little bit later. Hunting tactics, I think that reduces the amount of people. Yeah, it does. I'm thinking, you know, let's do... I think we need to focus on resources. So let's do let's do generator efficiency and then we'll, we'll go for the resources after. That's what we'll do. Because generator efficiency is basically going to give us more, more coal to, to use. So, ah, people are actually starving now. It's not ideal. Just hold on for one more day, all right? The food is coming. We've got so many hunters out there flying around, collecting up food. It should be, should be um, a buffet when you get back. Don't worry about it. Okay, we've reached there. We'll move on to the iron deposit. Like I said, I'm going to leave that automaton there for now. We've got, see, we've got a lot of people not doing anything. We ideally need to get them in somewhere. That can go like that. Put one more person in there. Okay, so this has now been depleted i think that's where the no i thought that was where the coal mines were no the coal mines are over here i'll tell you that's fine <laughs> that's fine how much food did we bring back not a lot for what we would i not as a lot not as much as i was expecting let's 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 say that um i'm gonna put three cook houses down Again, that may seem a little bit overkill, but we need to get um, we need to get making food. Uh, so yeah, let's do resources: steam coal mine and steam wool draw. I do next. What's what's that? Don't know what's going on. Divided in death. Okay, we want to get hope up. That's what we. That's what our thing is, isn't it now? Okay, we've man, these these guys are running around out here all the time. Okay, so <laughs> they've reached the iron deposit. So we've got a the ability now to do an iron outpost, which will be very useful. Uh, these guys explore the Baron Hollow. Oh, are these actually coming in? I don't even know if these are are coming any anymore. So how strange. Um. I swear they were like meant to be there forever. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Uh, we need to move these along as well. <laughs> so, right, let's uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, right. Pe people need more food. <laughs> I'm gonna do hot houses. Uh, that's gonna be our next next thing. Um, we've got a nice heat zone over here we can use don't want to use up all of the, the steam cores though because they they take one steam core each so yeah, let's get people in there and you know what i'm going to do as well i'm going to get another coal mine down and i'm going to do more flying hunters <laughs> that's what i'm going to do uh so let's get those we can kind of use the paths already now because we don't really have to lay out the city that well. Um, let's do that and that there. All houses are covered, I think. Or all tents are covered by a heat zone. This one's run out of resources, so we can get that up. And scouts again have reached somewhere else. Okay, so two steam calls would be very good, but we could die. So I'm only going to do what we can be, what we can safely take. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to save scummy either because it's a bit scummy. <laughs> Normally I would. Normally I'd be saving and, and 
but I can't. I can't be bothered today. I just want to do this quick, as quick as possible, and uh, we'll be good to go. Let's get children in there, and this other hot house up and running. And I'm suspecting the temperature is going to drop very soon because <laughs> we haven't had a temperature drop in a while. We pull back a, a bunch of steel. That's good, but it's it, the thing is, it's not a lot of steel. That's the thing. This is why we need a, a lot more. Um, yeah, we've only got 500 steel coming in. I don't know how much that steam steel works makes a month. It makes a month like it's a flipping job. How much it makes a day or it produces. Okay, right, we've got another law to sign. We need to get, we need to get hope up. Now I'm gonna use faith. Faith is a bit OP, I'm not gonna lie. But this scenario is hardcore, so I don't mind using it. Uh, that will go yeah that'll be pretty good there and I'll cover as many people as possible yeah, right in the middle there would be would be perfect well not perfect but fine you know what let's do we could just we could just do so many that's it that would be that would be plenty I just want to get that hope up as quick as possible and then we can move on to the next bit. So we're about 30% on hope, which is decent. And it's colder. Like I said, I, I was I was anticipating this. It's minus 50. Okay. Steam level three. Let's put it on three as well. And there's a bunch of cold. Actually, no. Do we need it on three? No, we don't. There's some cold. There's some cold homes. So I'm going to swap everything that's freezing out for a bunkhouse. I don't want them getting freezing overnight. And then we've got these two up here, which are, which are freezing. So put heaters on those. So how much is a heater? One coal every hour and that is three coal per hour so it's going to be better to have yeah it's going to be better to have two heaters on there oh we need to change we need to change one of these resource depots to <laughs> to um food because we can't actually store enough food um that's not good just put a bunch down here. And while we're at it, we've got the church. We can use this sermon to get that hope up a little bit more. And then it, it might be a little bit tight here. We've got one day five. Oh, no, that's for, that's for the food. Okay, the food should be fine. So let's get that as... Well, we'll do all these food rations, right? maybe a bit overkill on the food rations but we're doing overkill on everything so it's all good absolutely all good uh, okay nothing to do there rest in hulk nothing to do there either oh my god we're going to the mass grave i think one of these yeah that one's got quite a bit of resources uh got three steam cores there that'll be very useful when it comes back Okay, so we've got enough food. We just people go and need just people need to go and eat it. <laughs> that's that's the next problem. Well, hope is so close. Hope is so close. Uh, right. So we did the didn't do steam. Did we do that last time? I can't remember what we did last last time. Uh, steam wall drill. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna actually change the outpost now. Because I think that is not not doing it. So these guys can go to the iron deposit, and we're going to start bringing in steel. And hopefully that will be good. So again, we've got a lot of people doing nothing. Uh, oh, even more steam cores. All right, that's really good. Let's get these back. Let's get these back and uh, put to use. 
Cool. Rest in hope. Nothing much there. And bring those back as well. Cool. The only last thing we need to do is freshwater springs. So we'll head out there. But I don't think there's anything to do out there really. Can't use that for another two days. Got two days, 17 hours left. Before we need to get that hope up. Those cookhouses just need to to work. Okay, that was good. <laughs> I was going to say they're running out of time to feed everyone, but luckily everyone was fed. Hope rises. Ah, okay, and that is hope restored. Absolutely amazing. Uh, examine the generator. So this is where we have to do um, like the repair station. The generator is going to start deteriorating. In fact, it already it already has started deteriorating. We just need to uh, repair it. So what were we doing here? resources steam wardrobe we'll let that go first but then we need to do this repair station up here and then we just need to get all the engineers on there having a, having a look at it okay what's going on right let's get this steel coming in the iron deposit outpost is now up so that's 200 steel every one day decent amount decent amount these guys have put stuff back so yeah we're going to send them to freshwater springs i don't think I don't think there's anything there. There might, there might be food because it, I think it does let you set up a food outpost. But we shall see. We shall see. Uh, cut off his leg. That's fine. We don't want him to die. Steam wall drill has been researched. Okay. Let's get that in. And we need to get... Probably need to put heater on that as well. We're doing okay, you know, for... We're doing okay for um, sick people, so that's good. I think this might be the time to go down extended shift. <laughs> I think this is going to be the time to do it. Uh, that's cold. I think, you know what, I will leave it at cold. And then let's get the uh, repair station underway. That should, that should be researched fairly quickly. That's good. We do need to get more food coming in, though. I said we've got we've got a lot of food to produce in the end so let's do more hunters or flying hunters hangers i'll do another four i would have done five if i could if i could have fit it in but i couldn't so we'll just go with that for now you know what would actually be really useful as well it would be one of those big big old resource depots because we're filling up on steel and I don't I need well, I need more steel basically <laughs> that's what we need well these have come back so we can actually disband those they don't really need to do anything else uh, so yeah let's get rid of those brings us another five people and then ah there is raw food here oh and we go forward okay but yeah there is a like a food outpost there so I don't think we'll be using that just because we've got all these food like food producing things in our city now 625 people is a lot of people to feed it's a lot of people to feed oh wow okay generator is off that's not good um right we need to we need to think about these steam steam coal mines we've got three of them three must be enough Come on, we've got, we've, we've got coal coming back in now. It's not enough. It's not enough to keep the generator on. Okay, right. The extended shift is coming. Okay, the extended shift is coming. Sorry, guys, but it has to happen. It has to happen at some point. Our discontent is so low, so I'm just going to put everything that we can on extended shift. So... This is going to be quite difficult to see where everything is, but it will be worth it. Like, it literally will be worth it. This content is rising at a rapid rate, but we can actually just get rid of the extended shift in it. Um, and it will actually go down by the same amount. So I'm not too worried about putting these on extended shift. Absolutely fine. Okay, what's there there is nothing there so we're going to the frozen forest cool 
Uh, what is... What's that? No gatherable resources. And that is because that is empty. Okay, that's fine. Just need... Uh, it's on 20%. It's on 20%. Okay, right. I think we're, we're good at the moment. This is the repair station. Yeah, the repair station is good. Um, We need more resource. We need more resource depots. That's what we need. Let's get repair station on. Steam coal mine. I'm going to put one of them on extended shift. Uh, sorry, the 24 hour shift. Because we need... Uh, we need it working. We definitely need it working. And now, this can go on those so they actually go to work. And the cook houses as well need to... Need to have heat. Oh, I think it's because... Okay, we ran out of coal again. Okay. We ran out of coal an awful lot. <laughs> which is not ideal. Um, right. We've got the repair station. Let's put 30... Well... Let's, let's do that. We're not going to fill it all the way up because we've got sick people to deal with. Actually, interestingly, amputees. How many have we got? I'm wondering... Well, it would be nice to see if they're an engineer. Like, if they're an engineer or a worker. Because if they're all engineers, potentially there's another 38 engineers to use. Uh, cool. So the last Dreadnought, chief engineer of the team investigating the cause of the generation malfunction takes you aside. Uh, basically, we need to <laughs> we need to leave the city. He's telling us. Maybe. And by maybe means we definitely do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do factory. I'm gonna start getting amp uh, prosthetics for these amputees. And while we're at it, I am gonna actually put more. Resource depots down. And I've got like a little little field of resource depots over here. And they're gonna be doing steel, I think. I don't know if you need wood for the dreadnought, I can't remember. But there's 298 of it there. So let's bring that back to the city. That's all good. These are yeah, these are just haven't got anywhere to put the steel, so once that's done. I'll be bringing another bunch. So yeah, let's get steel coming in. Okay, we're looking right. We're looking pretty good. I say that just as someone died. What has gone on over it? An amputee suicide. Oh no, did I not sign prosthetics? Oh, I did. Oh, okay, I don't know what happened then. Oh well, is what it is. Um, right. That's so random. I didn't realise. That could happen when you had prosthetics signed. Anyway, he missed out. The temperature is just rising. He should have. He should have. Should have held on for one more day. Uh, okay. Now I'm thinking food add additives. Now this is a bit of a controversial one. I don't. I never use food additives, but this will help us produce a lot more food. People are going to get ill though. I think our medical facilities are going to be up to it. And I think we're going to need more resource depots. Oh no! Yeah, let's do let's do more of them over here. Do another four, and that's going to be for food. Factory has been researched. These guys have come back. So again, nothing for nothing left for them to do. So we'll go we'll go with that. Uh, so right, let's get these amputees back to work. I think that's going to be a good tactic to do now. Uh, we want this in a heat zone. That will do there. Yeah, the generator report is ready. What is going on? It's dead. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just broken. It's broken. Oh my god, look at that hope drop. Oh no. I, th I was thinking um, discontent would rise, but... It is what it is. Okay, so let's have a think. Work efficiency will fall by 10% if we do that. I don't want to do that. 10% is that a lot? It is quite a bit, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to do, I know of, I'm going to lie, I do know of another city. Because, <laughs> because I think I know how to get out of it. 
we do need to build the evacuation center now this goes down here couldn't find it then for a minute uh, but yeah we this is where we prepare to get people out of the city and we should be uh, I think we're in a pretty good pretty good state at the moment I'm gonna do oh hang on I'm thinking about doing infirmary I'm gonna do infirmary because we have got a lot of sick people oh my we've got a lot of sick people <laughs> I didn't realize uh, we've got repair station improvements we can do as well which is fine uh, right let's get engineers off here we don't need them on there just for now but we'll start using some of this still to do prosthetics we've got 37 to make that's a lot isn't it uh, 370, 370 still, that's not too bad, but it will give us an extra 37 people to work with. And I'm hoping some of them are going to be engineers. Right, so here we are. We're going to be evacuating everyone. We need to send, first of all, 25 engineers. So, where have we got them? We've got some here. Actually, we'll, we'll leave those till last because we have got some actually working in... Uh, like gathering posts and stuff haven't we so look we've got four up here um let's see where else we've got okay i thought we had more people ah we've got eight in there okay get those out uh, we can stockpile some coal here i'm getting distracted i'm literally getting distracted more food rations this coal oh my god okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Oh no, like I've got a lot of yellow bars as well, which means efficiency is down across the board. Right, we've got 12 free, so I'm thinking let's take them off here. So we need another. Well, let's put. Okay, we've got 11 on there, that's fine. So let's get these sent to the Dreadnought. And send those and well hopefully we're in a good state i feel like we're in a good state off goes the old uh, train i think that's called the creve niche if, you, <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos i love the creve it's such a weird name i don't know what it means but um it's on its way to the dreadnought it's all good and we did have the infirmary didn't we so yeah, let's... Oh, we don't have any steam cores. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a pointless... Pointless research thing. Um, ah, uh, whatever, it's fine. Just don't worry about it. We will do the repair efficiency upgrade. Because that will be useful. I'm trying to think where we can get a steam core from. I guess one of these... Nah, but we need them. We need them there. I wonder if we can take... Let's dismantle one of these, the hot houses. And I'll replace, I'll use the steam core we get from there with the, um, with the infirmary. Okay, we've got another one of these we can do. So I am thinking organ transplants because that gives us the 20% boost to efficiency on all of our medical places. And yeah, let's let's put down the infirmary now. We again we'll put it in a heat zone over here. I don't think I've been that efficient with with the coal, but we are gaining, which is good. Uh, we are on minus thirty though. <laughs> we are only on minus thirty. Uh, okay, let's get a couple of these out. Put them in there, and that will work much quicker. That's good. And again, we need I need to stockpile this, these food rations. Okay, so that's all good. Repair efficiency has been upgraded. Seven hours till they get there still. To the uh, Dreadnought. Emergency repair. I'm thinking maybe we now do... Right, we don't need those. 
don't need any of these, I don't think. Coal, coal mine optimization. No, I feel like that's unnecessary. Maybe, oh, maybe these insulation ones now. Insulations would be pretty good. Because it basically gives you a free heat zone for nothing. So yeah, I think that's going to be the tactic to go with. And I, you know what, I think we're good with food. Because once we start evacuating people out of the city, then we will be able to... Like, we don't have to feed as many people, so we'll be able to stockpile more food. Uh, cool, the first crew is in place. We've got 25 engineers there. We now need to send steel to fit out the dreadnought, send food rations, and send a steam core. Okay, so we do need a steam core. <laughs> right, what do we do? What do we do? Where do we get that steam core from? Did this take a steam core? Yeah, it does. Okay. Right, that's interesting. That takes two steam cores. I'm wondering if we swap that for a, just a normal wall drill. We could do that. Or we swap one of these steam coal mines. Yeah, let's do. Let's get rid of that, and then we'll put a normal coal mine there. Uh, right. But what do we need to do first? We need to send steel to it. So let's go to cabins. We'll send. No, we don't want to send all the steel. We'll send 300 steel like it says, and we need to send food rations. I'm wondering, do I just send all of the food rations? And then that gives us, you know what, I'm going to probably say yes, and maybe do the same, oh, actually no, sorry. Right, so we can only send like 2,500 resources at, at a time, right? So I'm going to do... Oh, hang on. No, let's do a thousand steel. No, let's do one. Let's let's just do this, that, and then as much food as possible. And then we do need to send the steam core as well, don't we? Which we will get in a minute once that has been dismantled. Okay, that's been dismantled. So <laughs> let's get the normal coal mine back in back in place, and then send one steam core. And we can actually start sending people. So I'm going to send 50, 50 children. So they're not doing anything. So I'm just going to send them off. Off it goes into the unknown. And uh, good luck, I guess. Just send 50 children on there with no adult supervision. Um, this guy knows... Um, he knows about our lies. We have to agree to his demands, I think. So we'll have to send two children and two engineers on the next um, evacuation train, but that's fine. Uh, right, let's do some other heat things. So gathering post insulation, cookhouse insulation. Yeah, we'll do cookhouse insulation. That'll be a good one because we do need to continue making food. And where is this? This needs to go on extended shift. Okay. Saying that, we probably need to do faith keepers. Faith keepers is gonna is gonna be a good one to get uh, to get on. And look, we've got a lot of people that aren't sick. Like we've got low sickness, which is really surprising. <laughs> so uh, let's do five days to send all the children. I'm gonna do it. I feel like I can do that. We already sent 50 of them, didn't we? So, we've got another 130 to do. So, that's going to take three days at least. We've got four, five days to do it. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I feel like we've got a lot of engineers not doing anything. So, let's get them out of these. Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Health, health posts? It's literally written right there. Medical posts. Oh my god, you can tell it's it's pretty late where I am. I need to go to bed, I've got work in the morning. <laughs> right, where else are they? This, this city is laid out so bad. I don't know how anyone survived in it. We'll just get these out and put them in here. So basically, the more engineers you have in here, the less 
chance of it is breaking down or something. I think that's how it works. And we've got another research thing we can do. Uh, I'll do... Well, I'm thinking maybe we do the next... The next one up. Yeah, let's do the next one up. That'll be good. Uh, long hours of toil. I won't address that right now because we love the extended shift. And little amputees. Oh my god, that's so that's so bleak. Children with no no limbs. That's that's maybe actually really sad. We are getting in prosthetics though. Don't worry. It's just the price to pay to get to survive the city. Oh, right. Even in prayers. Let's put these on. That one does cost food, but we've got we've got so much food. Hope rises because we're telling them that hope will rise. And it's you know what you know what I think we've done pretty well so far. I thought this was going to be much harder. Ah, right, saying so, no, I haven't completed it yet, but we need to um we need to actually get get going because we've still got a long way to go on these we've got a bunch of steam cores to go uh oh something's happened to the generator I just had a thought are we even going to have enough steam cores ok so the generator has malfunctioned not good now how are we going to repair it repairs in 10 hours that's that's not too bad, I don't think. What we can do... Take these people out of those metal posts. Put them on there because they are just going to freeze anyway. So we might as well just get them out. Get them in there. So that's reduced it to six hours. That's good. So by the time the morning comes, it should be repaired. I just hope people don't get sick uh, limited space the, the space aboard is limited we could build additional cabins um, okay cool. cool so this is the fully upgraded dreadnought right <laughs> we need to start kitting out this dreadnought by sending resources and stuff so we've got a bunch of people here right or a bunch of things here first of all send at least two engineers to the dreadnought right. we can do that so let's get those two out, put them in there, and then ten, ten, two children, so that's fine. But then we need to send all the children, so let's do that. We'll send all the children, or as many as we can, and then we need to send these resources for the fully upgraded. So it's 5,000 coal, everyone like 500 people and then 5,000 food rations and then convert five of the cabins. Now I did have a thought, are we actually going to have enough steam cores? I will think about that later. <laughs> right, so I think the first thing maybe to do is to get food on there. So let's send as much food as we can. So that's going to be all food and then We'll start sending. Oh, let's send that coal. Okay. Sweet. I do need to get these prosthetics though going. Hopefully. Well, we've got 15 left to make. It's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, the generator. Come on, be repaired because it's just dropped temperature. Okay, the generator's back operational. Let's get that on steam level two. And the difference engine has been researched. Now, I don't know why this is a good thing. Oh, generator efficiency, that could be good. We don't need those resources. Advanced steel work, we don't need that. I think maybe infirmary checklists would be a good, a good one. That speeds up recovery because I feel like we're going to get a lot of sick people very soon it's going to go down to like minus a billion i think so we're around that this is not this is not working properly i don't think oh no that's it's not working because it's full that's why 
So what we could do is actually change that one to coal. So yeah, we don't actually need any wood. So that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. I have to send one work on the next transport. Let's do that. We want to, we want to keep these this discontent and hope in check. Because that could screw us over. Just a bit concerned about this still, actually. This doesn't seem to produce a lot of steel. Oh, this could be a this right. This could be the downfall. Uh, we are getting some more sick people as well, so I'm going to take a bunch of people off there and just put them over here, so we can get at least people in. Uh, so that's good. Faith keepers. We'll sign that. I don't. I don't know if we'll need it. To be fair, uh, did they reach? They reached the dreadnought. That's good. So here he comes. The train is returning. So it was sent at least one worker this time, wasn't it? So let's uh, do one worker. All the children. And then I guess we'll do all the other all the other workers. We need to be sending full amounts each time. Oh my god, it's going minus 50. Uh, what do we need here? We need more steam cores, I think. I think we need another steam core. Let's send, let's send all the coal we can, actually. So we just need to send a whole bunch more coal. And then we can start getting rid of these coal mines. In fact, no one's actually in that one. Let's just get rid of it. Now, I did say I was concerned about steel, because how much steel do we need to send? Um, oh no, hang on, we, did we send all the steel? I think we did. I'm getting confused. <laughs> let's have a look. Uh, let's have a No, we, did, we can't have sent all the steel. We can't have. No, okay, I am thinking we maybe need to upgrade the steel. Uh, still things. Okay, right, here we go. A large group of, group of people will leave the city. And this is why we needed Faith Keepers. But saying that, Faith Keepers, I think kills, like, maybe will kill people. We'll have to let them go. There's nothing we can do about that. We have still got enough people we can save, so that is fine. It's looking very chilly on here, isn't it? Very chilly indeed. So yeah, I'm actually I'm actually gonna do the advanced steel works. That's what I'm gonna do because that I think that's gonna be our only chance to get more steel. We have got the outpost coming, but I don't think it's enough. I just don't think it's enough. Long hours of twelve. No, we've got to keep that one. We've got to keep that one. <laughs> We have Faith Keepers. Okay, so I will put this down. Because that will increase hope, I think. And you know what would be good? Uh, the uh, the shrines. I think the shrines will be good, so we'll, we'll do that next. That increases workplace efficiency. We need to get Faith Keepers in there. So get discontent down and hope up a little bit we have got children on the way to the dreadnought they are nearly there so we'll do that stowaways oh no see look again we need to send the guards in uh, let's say ice I see what can I do about it faith keepers are on patrol no one's going to be messing with the faith keepers anymore, but we, I think that's I think we've done that a little bit too late. But it's fine, just don't worry about it. Um, we have got right. We're waiting on steel, aren't we? Oh damn, that's why because we've got no workers in there. Okay, that's why the steel has gone down. Let's get rid of some people out of these hunters huts. Put them in there. That is why we were not getting any steel. Oh my days! How did I not see that? 
And then this... Oh, we're going down to minus 60. So this needs another heater now. Because that is just outside the heat zone. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Cool. Right. I am thinking... Where are these children working? Because I've forgotten... We actually have children in the workplaces, so I need to get those out of the workplaces. Uh, the truth must come out. So a group of engineers here, they want to talk to you. Okay, we, consequences may be diet. That is fine, we can deal with it. So these are going to tell them that we lied about there being another city. I mean, what else are we going to do? Like, I didn't want workplace efficiency to decrease by 10% because they would have no chance. They literally have no chance. Like. It's fine. It's just fine. I'll be like, they'll be like shouting at me. I'll be like, just don't worry about it. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> right. Discontent. A large group has stolen 553 food rations. That's fine. And 240 wood. We've got a lot of each of those. So don't worry about it. Uh, right. Let's get these kids on there. I'm going to try and get other kids on there as well. So we've got 10 in here. Five in the cookhouse. Uh, nine in here. I'm just going to take kids off everywhere. And replace them. Oh, I say that. Replace them with workers. We don't actually have enough workers. Oh, God. We've got, we've got to get rid of 69 children as well. This is not good. This, I, thought we were, I thought we were doing really well. Um, that is all the coal, though. So that's decent. Uh, cabins, steam coal. We'll send that. And then we'll send as much of that as possible. Okay, so we've got one day, 23 hours left. And that goes in 24 hours. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We will see, right, if that works. Okay, we've got the advanced still works. Did we even need... Yeah, we did, to be fair. We did. We need... Look, we need a lot of this still, don't we? <laughs> oh, my... Oh, my God. And we need a lot of seam cores. This is where it gets so difficult. Saying that, these are very cold and no one's no one's in them, so we can just get rid of them. I have a sneaking suspicion that coal production is going to be down as well. Yeah, look. Where has everyone gone? Um, well, I know I've been evacuating, evacuating them. But I didn't realise that many had gone. And also, I guess we had a couple of couple of people just leave on their own like on their own accord I guess yeah we've only got 230 people left now that's like less than half what else can we do here I'm wondering do we do improved heater because it is going to get very very chilly soon and then the law I said shrine didn't I yeah let's do shrine this could be Pretty useful. I'll put one over here next to these steelworks. And where else needs them? What else are we doing? Uh, cookhouse could be. Actually, no, we don't have anyone in the hothouse. Uh, I think. Well, we only need one, but I'll just put a couple more down to satisfy the uh, the old requirement down here. This is crazy. Again, cold workplaces. Anything saying like keep the temperature up, I don't do. It is like impossible to do. Right, we've got a thousand food. Oh. oh no. The generator has failed again. It's gonna re be repaired in one day. I can Oh, it's minus it's minus sixty. Uh raise hope. I'll use faith keepers to silence them. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Oh, it was going so well. We'll continue though, we'll continue. Save the children. Right, the children will be gone soon, right? We will definitely do that. That will raise hope, surely. Everyone's going, oh look, everyone's freezing cold. 
The infirmary's not working. In oh, the infirmary hasn't had anyone in it. Oh dear. What is what is going on here? <laughs> Let's get everyone, everyone in there that we can. Uh, we don't need. Oh my god, the engineers have gone from there as well. It's because we sent sent the twenty five engineers off, wouldn't it? Um, right, we've got five. Five we can use. Is there anyone anywhere else? Right, it's there. That's not working. We've still got two amputees. Okay, we'll, we'll keep those in there, making those amputees, because we do need to actually give everyone a prosthetic before we send the kids off, right? The dreadnought is fueled. Okay, nice. We can now send it. <laughs> we can send it, but we need to we need to get another cabin and we need to get some more food rations in for it to be successful and then then we can maybe do the last one we'll see i don't think it's going to happen i don't think we've got enough still but um i do need to get oh, i do need to get those children prosaics there's two there's two prosaics go and get your go and get your legs kids and then then you'll be on and on your way might be a good idea to do one of these the temple might be a good one. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. I'm not going to worry about where it is because it's it's just cold, isn't it? It's just cold anyway. How much longer? We've got eight hours left on that. I feel like we're going to have a few deaths coming in soon. Uh, losing a limb. Yep, yeah, that's, that's standard for minus 60. Just don't worry about it. Oh, wow. Look at this sickness here. The temple was built. I told you this was going going too well for it to for it to be good. Um, all right, let's get hope up. Where's temple as well? Uh, the temple I put over here. You can use this one to get discontent down and hope up a little bit. Just go and grab your am just go and grab your legs. Oh, another amputee as well. Um, okay, right. Let's get all the steel going. We'll send. We'll send actually we'll send all the prov provisions all the children we can and we don't need to send any more coal that's fine that's fine that's fine okay we need to keep some people back that's good i thought um i thought we'd have to give everyone an, an like a every amputee a prosthetic but it looks like the kids already got them come on just get that let's get that repaired guys come on all the children are safe, so efficiency goes up. The generator is operational again. Let's get that on heat level two. Okay, heat level two will do for now. And then we can just start deleting some of these that are freezing. No one's going to go in them. We need to get engineers into those. So yeah, let's take everyone off there. All of your engineers go in there. And then... I'm just going to put a couple in each of these, just because we want to get people into the into the medical bays. In fact, I'm going to pause it while we do this. Um, so if there's someone in a medical bay, they won't die, and you can get the uh, medical bay operational just by having like one engineer in them. I think that's fine. So let's actually just fill these ones up with these, and then we'll put a couple on there. It's not going to make a difference at this point, I don't think. But what else do we need to do? We need to send another 96 people. Send another bunch of food and then more steel. Oh, I didn't put... I didn't put the... Uh, advanced steel works, right? We need to get those built as soon as we can. There's a lot of people... There's a lot of workplaces that are not fully staffed. And that is because we've got a lot of people doing food. So let's actually just get rid of that. And we'll, we'll get more people into the workplaces that actually matter. I've really um, dropped the ball on that, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was not, not the best. We are running out of valuable time as well on these, steel, these advanced steel places. So they're making 4.3 an hour. That's like nothing. Oh my god. 
So we've got 200 people, uh, 200 steel coming in a day. Again, it's just not, it's just not enough steel, I don't think. You've got to be stockpiling that from the very beginning. That's outrageous. We do need to start thinking about steam cores as well. Right, I'm going to get rid of the, this one. This will give us a steam core. And I think we've got enough wood as well. So I'm going to get rid of the wall drill. I think we're good. And the hot house as well. We don't use that, do we? So we'll get rid of that. I think we are doing as much as we can. End of ship. More coal would be very nice. Oh no, hang on. I've got rid of one of the... I've got one of the... Rid of, ugh. One of the steel coal mines. I didn't mean to do that. We do need, we do need that operational. And on extended shift, that was <laughs> that was a bit of a not good thing to do. Right. We do have a steam core to send though. That's good. So that's a deck, and then we need another, another one, and then we need. Oh, we need one more. That will be deck four done. Saying that. Yeah, that will be deck four done. We can send 50 people and we need to send... Okay, yeah, we need to send those. Oh, no. I sent it without any people on. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Because we've got seven days left. We need people in the city, don't we? Uh, okay, we've got another law to sign. Have we got anything we can do over here? Moonshine. Let's get that going. And yeah, we're out of we're out of coal again, so we're getting a lot of oh my god. Everyone is getting ill. This is not ideal. All because I've deleted one of the, the coal mines. Oh, we need to do another shrine as well. Uh that would be good over here. Let's get that built. Okay, we're minus 50. It's not as it's not as bad now. Shrines are built. Let's get that on heat level 1. I'm wondering if that's going to be enough. Okay, that is enough to heat homes and stuff. So, we'll, we'll keep it at that for now. Let's get workers off there. I think we need to just take all the workers off. I say that. I was going to say to take all the workers off this, these hunters' huts, and I'll, I'll get some engineers in here and in here because we are trying to still research stuff. How long until the next one to be sent? Nine hours. Nine hours. The temples influence people. That's. Fantastic. Is there any other thing we can do here? <laughs> oh no, is there anything? Like, nothing really to do with efficiency that we can do. Coal mining optimization, but I don't think I need that. Heating, I think that's fine. I mean, maybe this could be... This could be good, and then, yeah, I think that could be good. We do need to get this generator back up and running when it does go down. Okay, we're going to run out of coal again. So now, if we can keep it at this level. Look at that on heat zone one. That will save us about. That will save us a lot of uh, coal, I think. And it's not really affecting anything. Okay, we'll keep it at range one for now. And we can send some more stuff along. So, provisions. Let's send the rest of the food to max that out. The cabins will send all of the steel and then people we won't send the people just yet we need to get we need to get this done right I'm just concerned where we're gonna get the other steam cores from we can get rid of the factory actually that'll be that'll be a good source of things let's get rid of let's get rid of these as well I mean we're not using them Oh no, we do need to use them actually. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's do that. I'm going to change to regular food as well because we were using sawdust. Uh, let's get a heater on there. And I think we're I think we're back on track. I think we're back on track. <laughs> I 
think we're back on track. Oh, what is going on here? Um, let's do that. I don't know if that's going to cause any issues. The only thing I'm concerned about is this still, and there's nothing really we can do about it yet. Like, well, there's nothing we can do about it at all. Except for get rid of some buildings. That's all we can do, really. Uh, so let's think about this. Anywhere that like no like people aren't living in, we're gonna get rid of. We don't need it. And that way we can um see what's using up coal and stuff like that. People are living in the bunkhouse, that's fine. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm tempted to use this raw food until the end of the end of the run, you know. Get rid of that. Okay, right. And then we could probably get rid of some of these as well. Like you build the city and then you basically demolish the city when you go when you go. Just the nature of this uh nature of this uh, the nature of this scenario, so let's get rid of that. Just get rid of everything. That's all I'm, that's all I'm doing. Okay, we'll go with this for now. Uh drunken meltdown. Uh, escort him home doesn't really matter. So we've got quite a few people taking food or like gathering food in the night, which is good. We're up to like ooh, we're up to nearly a thousand still actually with deleting all of that stuff. Oh, the generator, classic, classic timing generator. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? <laughs> Where are these people? Where are these engineers? All right, come over here. All right, this one's right. This one's not working. This one's not working. So take them out. We don't need to research anything else. Let's get them on there. We have got emergency repair. So let's advance that by ten percent. That's two days though. Two days. We need to just get all engineers on. All engineers on hand. They're there because that that literally halved it. What else? What else do you want from me? What else do you want from me? Come on. Okay, we'll go with that for now. That's fine. Can we send anyone else so far? Yep, yeah, maybe in a second we can. Generate a malfunction. Okay. Now the issue with this, which I forgot, is this stress is going to start rising. So we need to repair it before that happens. Oh dear. Emergency repair has started again for some reason. Oh, it costs wood and steel and you can use it. For oh, okay, right. We're going to try and use that as much as we can then. Because, yeah, that stress is rising, man. Nice. I don't know what happened there, but it was good. <laughs> um, let's do that. You've got nine hours left on that repair. Oh no, someone. They've taken some food. Uh, let them go. I don't want anyone to die. So that's seven hours, and this is rising. Oh my god. I'm going to use one more advance by 10. 10%. There we go. That should that should be good. And then, right, what we need to do is actually send the steam cores, don't we? So, we've got one steam core. More still. Right, let's pause this. Oh, some, something's happened over here. No, still moaning about long. <laughs> still moaning about long shifts in this situation. There's nothing else to do. Just work. So it's another 1,030. One steam core. Provisions, we've got enough provisions. People, we don't have enough people. We will get them in there though. How many people do we need? We need another, another 50, 61. Another 61 people to go. 
but we do need another well we well we need 4,000 still oh my god right let's send that and then we've got basically two more to do Okay, generator is operational. That's good. Heating level has been reduced by one, though. So, essentially, if we're on the steam level two, it means we're on steam level one. Which is not ideal, but we'll go with it. I think we just need to start deleting everything now. I will leave a few of these um, resource depots, and I'll have them on still. But if there's anyone, if there's anything that can be deleted, I'm just going to delete it. And hopefully no one goes homeless. That's fine. We'll get rid of that. That's fine as well. Okay, we don't actually need the wood, but I think it's quite, <laughs> it's quite funny just to like get rid of it get rid of oh, let's hit those and then delete it forty two engineers in here oh my god I'm getting overwhelmed getting overwhelmed I think what might be a good idea actually if we start if we do some more research on this repair station it'll make it go a little bit quicker when that does happen again we're never gonna be doing we're never gonna be doing the the um you know we're never going to be doing the fully upgraded i'm sorry it's it's too hard it's just too difficult what else can we do law wise um nothing let's just leave the laws we are we are getting towards the dire situation at the end here and it gets colder just to just to rub salt in the wound should we put it on heat level no let's yeah let's put it on heat level three just for now get rid of that get rid of that <laughs> get rid of that get rid of everything we need four thousand still let's see if that's actually possible so 11 and out so that's 100 and well, they say 150 a day, so that's 300 a day. So we're basically getting 500 a day. We've got four days, so that's 2,000. It's yeah, it's never going to happen. But we'll go to the bitter end. I don't think I've ever seen a playthrough where like this has been possible. I just don't see it ever happening. But we're going to give it. We're going to we're going to go to the bitter end. What we're gonna do let's do that and then i'll get rid of it get rid of a couple of these that tent can go faith keepers can go temple can this temple can go everything's going everything is going ah oh, poor people man poor people okay we'll leave it at that for now yeah, we can send another lot of people saying that what do we need to send we do need to send some seam core so let's get rid of that and i think we need oh, i think we do need to send more steel right yeah we need a lot more steel so we'll have we will, we will just be missing one uh, one deck, right? I'm going to start sending people. 35 there. Let's get... We're just going to we're just gonna go with the amount of coal we've got at the moment. Because we've got 2,000. It's about a day. I don't think we'll be surviving any longer than that. Which is very disappointing. Oh, saying that. No, we will keep one... We will keep one coal mine operational. We will keep one coal mine operational and hopefully that's good enough. Right, we'll send 50 people. 
So we had enough food. It was just still, wasn't it? Still. Work is over for the day. It's probably over for like <laughs> the next, the next lot, like for the rest of time. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. The care house. No one is in the care house. So we'll delete that. The cook house will keep operational. These two, they can go. Oh, the fighting arena can go. I've oh, still got like these. These can go. Gathering post that can go. Actually, that's yeah, that can go. This can go. Everything freezing can go. Oh, this is so, so so bleak. We're just packing up and leaving. Spent a lot, a lot of time in the city. Nothing else we can do. Done my best. Oh, it does get warmer. Okay, we'll put steam level two just to save a bit of coal. And we need to send another 12 people. And we've got three cabins. Okay, we've got three cabins. We can launch the Dreadnought, remember, at any time. So we can win the scenario. Uh, I won't address that right now. People are going to have to, you're gonna have to keep working. Just keep working, keep working. Okay, right. This is probably going to be one of the last ones we send. So send the steam cores and the steel all of the steel we've got in terms of that we need another 3500 provisions is fine coal is fine steam cores we're sending two over and then people we just need to send another 12 over so i'm wondering do we just send Actually, no, we'll keep... Right, we'll keep those. Let's take... Uh, that's the seam coal mine, isn't it? So we'll replace those there. With engineers. Okay. We're going to keep... We're going to keep all the engineers at the city. So that's fine. Let's put them back in there. So let's go... People send okay right the only thing we are missing is two, two steam cores which we can easily oh can we easily get them yeah two steam cores are here in the steam coal mine so we'll delete that it's just the steel so we've got three days <laughs> got three days and is there anything else we can do oh, i'm wondering do we do i'm doing it 24 two 24 hour shifts that's what I'm doing. I reckon someone's going to die there, but what else can we do? Oh, the generator shut down. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So it's going to take two days to repair. Someone died. Uh, yeah, that was fine. Someone died on the extended shift like we thought it would do. Okay, let's get engineers into there, okay? Because of, we need to, we need to, we need to save the generator. Two days, that's a long time. That is a long, long time. That is a long time, but there's nothing else really we can do. I'm going to leave one person in the infirmary, but those on there and that on there and I think we can start dismantling these over here so uh, yeah oh we've uh, you know what we've still got 120 123 people that's a lot of people is there anywhere like anywhere else we can get still I don't think I don't think there is We've got two over there on 24 hour shifts. It is a clutch law that I never do that. But desperate times call for desperate measures. 
let's get rid of these paths again we don't need the wood but we are just dismantling everything now unfortunately the tents don't give us they don't give us steel but that does the old um, steam hub just gonna get rid of these paths here get rid of that one get rid of that that I just hate the layout of this city. It's awful. I'm glad to get rid of all of it. Oh no. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Get that path built back. ASAP. Quickly, 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 quickly. Because we are running out. That was not good. Because all of these now, they went down for like an hour or two hours, which is. That's a bit. Of, that's a, quite a bit of steel. Not, not um not being done, picked up uh that's on 25 percent and that is still on one day you know what that might actually be enough 30 percent one day. ah no no right i think we need to do this i don't like that at all <laughs> that's going up an awful an awful lot uh, we can swap these out, can't we? Swap all these engineers out for workers because we had them collecting food, which is a bit of a waste, but it is what it is. One engineer as well somewhere. Oh, they're in there keeping it. Well, I say keeping everyone alive. We do need to keep it. They couple out, get that at least operational. Put them back in there. Okay. We will do that again. 50 still. Oh, that's a lot of still. Um, oh no, half the pop, half the population is is leaving. Okay, I'm doing what I can. Doing what I can. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Still got a day left on that. It's like 47%. That's going to be close. Okay. So we've got 900 still. We just needed another like day or like another couple of days. And I think we could have maybe done it. But we are gonna, like I said, we are gonna go. We're gonna go to the bitter end, okay? Send that off. We're out of still. We just don't wanna time out here and we don't want this to blow up right if we can repair this we will be in a good good position hold on for a couple of days come on guys can't oh, you see the the generator is going to blow up or we're just going to run out of time <laughs> i would like to get this um this repaired right this will be a good good end to the the scenario i think we'll repair it i think that'll be fine Going minus 50. We just need to keep an eye on that. We've got another day. Another two days, really. 68. Oh, hang on. Okay, I thought I thought they weren't working overnight for some reason, but of course, of course they were. Uh oh, this is actually gonna be really close. I don't think actually I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh no. Why is that? There's only 18 people on there. Where is everyone? Oh, did they... Did they leave? It says we should have 47 engineers. Oh, they're on their way. <laughs> they're on their way. They're just, they're just gone. Right, I think this is not ideal. Okay, what... Right, everyone... I just, this is this is sad. I've got to take everyone off. I don't. I'm kind of right. Let's get everyone off. Who else is like working? So five workers are over here, literally contributing nothing. And you got that. Okay. So do we have the ability to send another one? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, I was hoping to get everyone out, but I think it is time to launch. We cannot do anything else. Uh, so we'll go to the map. These people here go into the Dreadnought. 
they are going to have a bad shock though when they get there because it's not going to be there so we're going to launch and uh that's it so i think we got very close to doing the um doing the actual uh fully upgraded dreadnought so close give us a couple of extra days and we would have, would have been able to do it i reckon the generator nearly blew up as well let's be honest so that wasn't ideal but I, uh yeah that's a tricky tricky scenario the generator blows up the dreadnought is on its way but we did evacuate i was gonna say everyone but like we didn't we evacuated most people so thank you for watching i'll leave you with the time lapse as always if you did enjoy the video hit the like button and subscribe for more frostpunk so stay safe have fun and i'll see you on the next one